Okay, everybody. Uh, we have an incredible rainstorm here. I've never seen this before, but my one horsepower Liberty pump has been officially overwhelmed. It's um, it's doing its best to keep up, but that sucker is pumping hard. Well, look at the amount of water I have. There's a French drain that runs all the way. Well, you can see that 12 by 12 catch basin is about five inches underwater right there. And that is a French drain all the way to that fence, which is my collection point, the swell. And it's totally underwater because the pump can't keep up. I haven't seen this in a long, long time. Matter of fact, the only time, I've, the, the time I've seen it in the past is when I had that Zoller M98, but I've never seen it with this Liberty one horsepower, 220 volt sewage pump. Um, just for a perspective, let me show you my neighbor's yard. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a river back there. Look at that. And then this is me. Everything's open. This is my pop up right here for my uh, 9 by 9 right here for the gutter. That thing is moving some water. That pops up right here it, as a relief. It uh, continues into the French drain right here underground on the outside the fabric and when that can't keep up I have a T coming up as a pop-up relief and then it just goes above the ground and then empties back into the French drain. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. So I'm ultimately going to drain all of this. Let's go take a look at the pump. Oh, the neighbor. Let's go take a look at the pump. This is overflowing right here. I've never, ever seen this. This is all because my sewage pump isn't uh, keeping up. Everything's backing up. Look at this fire hydrant coming out of here. This pop-up is blown off. This is this is the exit point for the front of the house. All the front is all gravity. The rear of the house is being pumped out right here. That's my sewer pump. And it's working its butt off. But boy, are we getting some rain right now. That pop-up you just saw in the front yard, that takes care of this drain right here. This drain right here. And then that fire hydrant on the corner over there. This right here. 
Those three tie together in the one four inch and discharge over there on that pop up. Let's go see how she's doing back here now. It's starting to slack off a little bit. That's still backed up. Still backed up. I'd say if the rain doesn't pick back up, this will probably be 15 minutes or so before it drains out, but I'm not sure because it's never happened to me before with those pumps. Let's see, we got almost three inches of rain in about an hour. Close this. All right. Well, I guess that's it for now. I'm sorry I haven't been making many videos lately. It's just been busy with work and we haven't really been getting much rain honestly since I put all this in believe it or not compared to the previous season we got unbelievable amount of rain but uh yeah I'm, I'm actually shocked to see this flooded out like this back here I mean I don't know what it would take to prevent this from happening you would have to have an incredible pump back here uh, maybe a triplex or something I'm not sure but uh, no matter what you put back here, you, you're not going to be able to beat Mother Nature every, you know, every time. There's going to be that one day where you get, you know, five inches in an hour or something like that. Not, so no matter what you put in there, it won't keep up with that. But the point is, is um, just so we don't have all this standing water for days, this system in here will, will drain this out in a matter of minutes as soon as it slacks down. So that's what we want, and that's what we have. So anyway... Until next time, this is Mike Lewis, Sela, signing out.